Today I want to show you a new product that I was just given to by a company I work with, a company that I've done a solar reverse camera for about a year and a half, two years ago. It was pretty neat. It's a nice, simple alternative for people who don't have a hard wire or pre-installed rear view camera in their vehicle. This one is kind of similar, just a later, more sophisticated version of the same one. The older version was a little bit difficult to pair, in my opinion, and it was okay. It looked good. It worked rather well, but the battery portion of it I didn't like. This one is an improved version, has much better standby mode, 170 degrees camera, also prepared, which is super important. I mean, I struggled with that and I didn't like that. The newer version, as always, should be better. So this one here is no different. And right there, you can see it's got an LED, which tells you the status, if there's a diagnostic mode or a problem. Also an external cord, which you can plug into a typical five volt USB to power up the camera. If you're starting from a dead battery for any reason, if it comes from the factory when you purchase it, that's how you can charge it up and get a good beginning using your new kit. Otherwise, you don't really use this. Just keep it around for a spare. The screen size, very similar, five inch. Built-in antenna. Mount goes right onto this piece right here, which you can have a suction mount, where you can put it on the dash. Windshield, wherever works best for you. You can adjust it, pivot it, make it work however it is you're looking for. As far as power goes, you plug this guy into the cigarette lighter, which nobody uses anymore. And then you have a button to turn it on to see the image. And it has a USB and an analog jack. So that way you lose what you don't need and you have some usable functions instead. So that's an upgrade as well. So just by plugging in, you get another bonus feature. So I'm gonna take this out of the vehicle and get it installed and show you how it looks. I also noticed that they included and revamped their installation guide and manual, which I like. I can't stand when you get a really lousy manual. What, that just bums me out. This one shows you, if you have a pickle or troubleshooting, there's a guy here adjusting the camera angle, things that people might, might miss about mounting that sucker. Here's your status LED indicators, which is very important for the average user. I think that's very important. What the buttons do in clear, concise words that people can understand. It's all English, which is another big bonus for me. Battery indicator, which I like. And there's some other things. Whole troubleshooting page. Not that you should really need it because the darn thing's so darn simple, really. And also, this thing is compatible with two cameras. You can plug in two separate wireless solar cameras to this one monitor. That's pretty cool. I like that. So this might be really good for a guy who just has a truck, wants to add a rear view camera, maybe another one for his trailer. This could be it. Could be a fix for a lot of people, actually. Before and after. Obviously this is before. There's what it looks like mounted on there after. And this is adjustable. So you can point it at what you're looking for. Rear observation, trailer cam, whatever it is. There's your solar panel. It's hard to see, but it's it's there. I thought I was like, what the hell is the solar panel? But there it is. You could also take this and put it on the bottom if it looks better in your application as well. But I think in this application, I think X marks the spot. The rear shot of the plate getting mounted on, you can see there's plenty of room and options to get this thing on just about any vehicle, no problem. For those of you who are not installation friendly, installation is, could not be easier. You just slap that thing on there with the suction cup. I'm going to tentatively put mine on the top of my dash. There's a plug here which has a proprietary way of plugging it in for the male into the female into this. This goes into your cigarette jack. Boom. Hit that to turn on the power and see your image. That's it. As you can see, I just plugged this thing in, right there. I didn't even have to hit the button. As soon as I popped it on, there's my driveway. Look at that. Looks damn good too. Sweet. Talk about easy, damn. To change all your settings, turn on reverse lines or not reverse, change your image, how she looks and all that kind of stuff. I mean, simple, man. Literally, this is a realistically 10 minute installation. I mean, five if you move your ass a little bit. But this is a quick, no-brainer installation. It works. The quality is, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, I mean, look at that picture. I mean, I'm not saying it's HD, but it's damn clear. Real clear. Looks good. I mean, you could put this thing in any vehicle. You could even take it, put it up here on the top of your windshield. You got plenty of cable. If you're looking to do the installation and hardwire, all this wire stuff, I'll send, I'll put a link up on the top here to show you how I do an installation on a dash cam because it's exactly identical to how you would wire this up into your vehicle as well. So there you go. I mean, that's, that's it. That's installed. So there's your Solar 3. 
this is a nice little product. I'll put a link below if you're looking to get yourself one of these. I'll see you around.